Hi everyone, today we are in lesson 9.3 in your colored math book, and that is on page 351. We are trying to do equivalent fractions and decimals today. The essential question asks, how can you record tenths and hundredths as fractions and decimals? All right, so let's get started. Unlocking the problem. Let's pull out the question and see what it asks. Daniel spent a day hiking through a wildlife preserve. During the first hour of hiking, he drank six tenths liter of water. How many hundredths of a liter did he drink? All right, so let's underline how many hundredths of a liter did he drink? Because that's what it's asking us. We know he drank six tenths. They're not asking us for tenths. They're asking us for hundreds. All right. So I'm going to scoochie this up a little bit. I'm going to scoochie it up right to here so we can see right here what it says. One way, write six tenths as an equivalent fraction with a denominator of a hundred. Right now our denominator is ten. They want the denominator to be a hundred. So let's see what they're telling us to do. Model, six tenths. Well, we know how to do that. We need to color in how many pieces. It's split into 10 pieces, 10 pieces, and how many do we need to color in? We need to color in six. Very easy. All right, so we have six tenths. Hmm, now what do I have to do over here? They want it to be equal. So how much of this do I need to color in? You want to color in the same amount. Not the same number, but the same amount shaded in. So I have like this much shaded in. I want to shade in about this much. How do I know how much that is? Remember, this was broken into 10 pieces. This is broken into 100 pieces. So how many... Um, Columns that I shade in one, two, three, four, five, six. So, how many columns over here do you think I need to shade in? One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, we've shaded in six. So, how many little bitty pieces did I shade in? One, two, three, four, count them all. Hmm, should I count them all by ones? Could I count them any other way? I could count them by tens because we know there's 10 in each row. So let's count them by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So I've just shaded in. 60 pieces. Is it the same amount? It's the same amount as over here, as over here. All right. Next, 6 tenths equals 6 tenths times, hmm, remember, we did fractions a few chapters ago. The um, What we learned was, whatever you do to the bottom, you have to do the top. Whatever you do the top, you have to do the bottom. So we're going to do the same thing. If we multiply this by the same number on the top and the bottom, we still have an equivalent fraction. So 10 times what equals 10? 10 times what equals 10? 10 times 10 equals 100. Whatever you do the bottom, you have to do the top. So if I multiply the bottom by 10, I'm going to have to multiply the top by 10. So 6 times 10 equals 60. Oh, sorry. If you want to double check your work, you could go 6 tenths equals 60 hundredths. And you could 
cross multiply, correct? 100 times 6 is 600. And 10 times 60 is 6 with two zeros. So it would be 600. All right. This was in a lesson previous, so I hope you remember that. So was this. So now your new information you're learning today was this 6 tenths is equal to 60 hundredths. So basically all they did was add a zero because all they did was multiply by 10. All right, let's try the next little section. So now write 6 tenths as a decimal. We just wrote it. How um, many liters, how many hundredths of a liter did he drink? Well, we know it's 60 hundredths, but now we want to figure it out as a decimal. So we have the same question. So here, how many um, sorry, let me click that for you so we can six tenths is the same as six tenths, zero hundredths. Remember, you can keep adding zero, 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 zero after the decimal. And it won't really change the value of the number. So, how many ones do we have? Zero, he didn't drink any holes. Point, so your decimal, six hundredths is a zero. Right? Remember, we looked back here, we had 60 hundredths. So we just wrote it, 60 hundredths. So he drank either 60 hundredths, you could write it like that, or you could write it 0 0.60. Either way, it's all equal. All right. I hope that helped you. Remember, let's see what the question was asking. How can you record tenths and hundredths of a fraction in a decimal? Well, that's what we just did. We recorded it first as a fraction right here. We switched it from tenths to hundredths and recorded it as a fraction. And then we recorded it as a decimal. So we know that these two are both the same. And they're the same as 6 tenths, 60 hundredths, 60 hundredths. We could also write it as 0 0.6. All of these are all the same, just written a little bit differently. All right. I hope that helped you. If you have any questions, let me know in class. Bye, everyone.